How do you work with confidence when you have little or no idea what you're doing? How do you draw people, or paint with oils, or choose a color scheme, or make any kind of art like you know how, when you're not very confident in your skills? Hello, my name is Carolina, and in this video I'll be working on some designs for a matching game while I talk about how to work with confidence. If you struggle with similar questions to the ones I asked at the beginning of the video, I have some suggestions that might help you feel more confident as you work on developing your art skills. So, when you want to draw something, what's the first thing you do? Do you grab a pencil and start making random marks on the page? Do you make a rough sketch and then refine it? Or do you look at ideas online to get inspired? None of these are wrong, but if you struggle with working with confidence, I suggest that you try doing some research before you begin drawing. You see, drawings and designs are not like fossils you dig out of the ground. As an artist, you construct your artwork. You build it from the ground up. You have complete control over it. So take advantage of this. Help yourself by preparing before you start. Anything you create will benefit greatly from having existing artwork and references to back it up. As artists, we often believe this myth that it's wrong to look at references when creating original artwork. But that's just not the case. For your next art project, try gathering references before you start. An example of a reference might be a picture of a particular pose you want your character to be in. Or if you're drawing a medieval knight, for example, collect several pictures of medieval swords, armor, and horses. To clarify, a reference is different from inspiration in that the reference is meant to directly inform the content of your art, whereas inspiration has a more vague influence on the final piece. To me, if you can find a picture of something, then there's no reason why you should have to make it up straight out of your head. If you really want to make stuff up, you should still base yourself on something real. It will only make your work stronger and more credible. After finding your references, Try making preliminary sketches, like little thumbnails, to get a better idea of what you want your final image to look like. You can move things around to see what looks best compositionally. You can work out anatomical issues or try out different color schemes. Once you have a sketch you like, you can use it, like a roadmap, to base your final drawing off of. This way, you'll never have to start a final piece with a blank page. As you define your sketch, look at existing artworks and use them as inspiration to determine what sort of style or look you want your work to have. But don't copy the work. Just take a few parts of it that you like the most. Maybe the colors, or the composition, or certain aspects of the style. But never all of it exactly as it is. That is plagiarism, and that's not okay. Being prepared will help you start projects with confidence. You'll never have to feel like you're starting from zero. You'll have a plan and a more concrete idea of what you want the final piece to look like. But that's just the beginning. You also need to execute your work with confidence. This is hard to do because you'll want to rush through the process and force yourself to erase and redo and fix every little thing you do. To work with confidence, you have to learn to make smart decisions. Don't just put something down on a whim. Think about the effect it will have and how it'll help you accomplish your goal. Try to visualize what your mark will look like once you put it down. Ask yourself, is this the best way to go about it? Is there another kind of mark I could make that would work better? Learning to make efficient marks will save you time in the long run. You'll spend more time creating and less time trying to fix your mistakes. I know it's tough to visualize things when your mind isn't trained to do it yet. But the only way to learn is by doing it. It's all trial and error at first. Be patient with yourself. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. Trust your instinct, even when you think it might be wrong. Remember that your mind learns from every mistake you make. The more you experiment, the more you learn. It's not about making things look good. It's about teaching yourself to visualize things and learning what works and what doesn't. As a beginner artist, you need to forget about making things look good and instead focus on learning and experimenting. Don't let fear keep you from trying new things. Actually, if you're afraid of trying it, you should definitely try it and see what happens. Your brain will eventually register that making a certain type of shape 
requires you to twist your wrist a certain way, or that placing the eyes a certain distance from the nose has a particular effect on a character's expression. You'll learn thousands of little things like this once you start making deliberate mistakes. And eventually, your deliberate mistakes will become successful marks. Consider these two self-portraits of mine. One has authority in its execution, while the other is just plain amateurish. I painted both of these with my right hand using the same oil paints on the same gessoed paper. What makes them so different is the confidence, or lack thereof, with which I executed them. In the painting on the left, I made conscious decisions and stuck with them. In the one on the right, I just fumbled my way through, not thinking through any decisions, just putting paint down and painting over the same parts over and over. Instead of making a mark with lots of wimpy little lines, commit to a decision and make marks with confidence. If you don't know what you're doing, try it anyway. Make a decision and stick with it. You'll learn much faster and your artwork will carry more authority, even if it's not perfect. I'm not saying you can't sketch loosely or use wimpy little lines as a style if that's the effect you want. But don't lie to yourself. It's not a style if you're doing it because you're afraid to commit and make mistakes. Be confident and make those mistakes. That's how you learn. Don't judge yourself for not being good at art. You're learning. That's the only way to get better. Every one of your favorite artists started out being bad. It's not about being good or bad. It's about working with confidence and being open to failure. You don't just suddenly become a confident artist after spending years being hesitant and self-doubting. Instead, project the way you want to be from the very beginning. Work with confidence, and your work will reflect that. That's everything I have for this video. I hope you found this advice helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll have a new video up very soon.